Okay, so you're gonna get a piece of newspaper to put on your table so the table stays nice and clean. And then you're going to get a Ziploc bag with clay inside of it. So you open the bag up and get your clay out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna split this off into two different pieces for your toad house. And the this piece, one of the pieces will be for the bottom, like the stem of the mushroom, and this is gonna be for the top of the mushroom or the roof for your house. So this is extremely similar to the cupcake that we made. Um, if you haven't watched that video, you can watch it. It's just how to make a clay cupcake or something. And we're gonna use a pinch pot method again for our the stem of the mushroom. So we're just going to use our fingers to kind of push this apart here, like so. And this is like our stem. So it can be as you know thick as you want or it can be like as thin as you want. And you're just kind of moving it around until you get it exactly how you want. And you want it to be, you know, well, as smooth as you want it to be. All right, so we're just going to do that. And of course we want this to be flat on the bottom. So we will do that. So that way it can lay nice and flat on the table for your decoration. And it doesn't wobble around or mess up the table at all. So you're just gonna do that. If it does get a little dry, you can spritz some water on it, but this is not cracking at all. This clay is nice and um, perfect amount of moisture in it, like so. Okay, and then that is that. And then what you can do actually with this is you can add a door and we are going to do that. And then um, we're just gonna add our the rest of the details with our glaze when we get to that step. So the only thing we're actually gonna carve in there and carve out, really, is our door. So as you can see here, I'm just using my thumb to like smooth it. You can just smooth it however much you want. If you want it to be a little bumpy, that's fine. But if you pull down like this, it kind of gives the illusion of like a wood grain, which is kind of cute. Okay, so this is where I'm going to put my door. And what you can do is grab a box of clay tools. And we have lots of clay tools in here and you can use whatever you're most comfortable with, but this is actually made for clay, this guy right here. So I'm actually going to use this one. So here is the clay tool and we are going to cut out the door. And first we're just going to draw it lightly like that. And then once we have exactly how we want it, we are going to then push a little harder with our clay tool, get that extra off. until we carve all of it away. Okay. And you can leave it partially open like this if you want, or you can pull off the entire thing. So I'm gonna leave my partially open and then just smooth out that side here. Just making it how you want it to look. Okay, that's pretty much how I want mine to be. I think that's pretty cute. Okay, so that is the bottom of our little mushroom house. Okay, so now for the top of it, we are going to get this other piece of clay and we're essentially just like making a pancake. So you're just kind of pushing it in between your hands and smoothing it out with your thumb and you're just making it into the shape of, you know, whatever you want the top of your little mushroom to look like. So the tops of mushrooms usually have like, they're kind of rounded up at the top here like this. They're not usually like super flat. So I'm just kind of using another pinch pop method to pull this up here like that. So that way on the outside, it looks like, um, it has, it's like a roof. It's like a mushroom top roof. So I'm just smoothing that out. And then um, we're gonna put like a little window in this top here. Cause what happens is if the heat doesn't have anywhere to escape in the kiln, like I'm gonna put it in the kiln, okay? Which is like a really big oven kind of, and it's gonna get really hot and that's gonna, what is gonna make it hard enough for us to glaze or paint. And anyway, so when all that heat gets in your artwork when I put it in the kiln if the heat doesn't have anywhere to go like if it comes inside of this thing 
and then it stays in there and it doesn't have anywhere to escape, it's gonna explode. It'll like break the top of your clay artwork in order to let the heat escape out. Like the heat wants to get out. Um, so we don't want that to happen. So we want to give it like a place to escape the heat. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add this little window up here. And I kind of want to use like a smaller tool because this window is going to be smaller than the door was. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my clay box here and I'm going to get this plastic needle because it has like a really sharp tip. And so I think that's going to work really well for mine. And again, I'm just going to draw first where I want my window. And of course it doesn't have to be a square window like mine, it can be any kind of window. And once I kind of see like, okay, I like that, then I can go in further until it actually like cuts this piece out. I'm just gonna kind of keep going around until it cuts this piece out. And it's okay if it gets messy because we can always go back and like smooth it out. Well, not always, but you know, while it's wet, we can go smooth it out. Once it's all dry and stuff, we can. All right, there we go. So I popped that little window out and I'm just gonna kind of smooth all this down. And of course you can use the clay tools for this, but I personally think that your hands are the best tool, I guess, depending on your what you're trying to do. Oh, mine kind of turned into a circle. That's pretty cute. So I'm gonna keep it like that. I thought I wanted a square, but then I accidentally did a circle and I ended up liking that more. So it's pretty cute. Okay, so that's going to be the top of our little mushroom house. Okay. So now all you have to do is set it on top of here, like this, like that. Okay, so we're just going to attach these things. Now, if you want this to have an opening up here, so you can like see inside the house from your roof, like you can totally do that. You just kind of poke this up here and if you wanna pull the top out and open up the top, you totally can do that. In fact, I'm gonna do that because I think that would be pretty cute actually. So I'm just opening that. There we go. That's pretty cute. Yeah. Okay. And now you don't want these walls to be too thick because bubbles of hot air could be get stuck in there. So you just don't want it to be too thick. Okay. That's pretty cute. And make sure my door is nice and pretty. Okay. So here I'm putting this on there like that. Okay. So here's our house so far. Now, what's gonna happen is if we leave it just like this, this little guy up here is gonna fall off. So what we have to do is something in clay called score, slip, and um, score, slip, stick, and smooth. Okay, so the scoring is where you're going to like make little rough edges on whatever two pieces of clay you're gonna put together. Cause we have to do this score, slip, stick, and smooth thing so that way our artwork doesn't fall apart because it's two pieces right now, but we really just want it to be like one piece. So everywhere that the top of my roof or the bottom of my roof is gonna touch, I'm gonna score. So score just means kind of like scratch it up. So, okay, it's gonna hit there and there. So now I kind of need to score it on this side too. Okay. And then it looks like it's kind of hitting back here like I thought it would. So I'm scoring this back here. So anywhere your uh, mushroom house, like the top of it hits the bottom, that's where you're gonna score. That's pretty much where mine hits it. Right there, in there. Okay, so now we're gonna do something called slip. So hold on, let me get my jar of water. Okay, so you just get your finger in the water, like that, and then slip. So it's called slip, I guess, just because it's slippery. So you're just gonna kinda do that. And again, the whole goal of this is to make these two pieces of clay turn into one piece of clay, so there's nothing to fall off of it. Okay, and then, so we scored, we slipped. Now we're gonna stick it on there. There we go, it's looking good. Kinda wanna move it so the window's right in front of the door. Okay, and then we're just gonna kinda like smooth it out. So I like to use this clay tool to smooth it out. 
So in little sections back here, I'm just going to kind of spread it a little bit. I still want it to look like, you know, this is the top and this is the bottom, but at the same time, I want it to be like one piece of clay, if that makes sense. So we want to give it the illusion of being two pieces of clay, but we actually want it to be one piece of clay. So I'm just kind of smoothing this in here, but I'm still like pushing in so that it has an indentation. See that? All right, now let's head up here to the front of the house and do the same thing like that. So I'm kind of pushing these two pieces together. All righty here. There. Now it's one piece of clay. That's looking pretty good. All right, so the rest of this is just me. I'm gonna, you know, put this side together too. So the rest of it is just kind of cleaning it up and making it look really, really good and ready for the kiln. And then you just put it back in the Ziploc bag with your class code and your number that you sit at at your table. And I'll put your name on it for you, your initials or whatever I need to put on it to know it's yours. Because then I'm going to put it in the kiln. And it's going to come out and it's going to be like hard. Like it's going to kind of be like glass. A lot of kids are like, oh, it feels like glass a little bit. Because it's very fragile. It makes a noise when you lay it on the table. Like it's glass. So anyway, that's going to happen. And then you'll be able to glaze it depending on what year it is. You know, this year I have lots of glaze, so we can glaze it instead of paint it. And the glaze is really cool because then I have to put it back in the kiln. I just dip my thumb in water because it kind of makes it easier to smooth it out. Now, I don't want you to make it like so wet that it's never, ever, ever going to dry and it's going to make my old tables all like disgustingly muddy, you know, but you can use like a little water to smooth it out, but please don't drown your house. Okay. And this will look even more like um, a mushroom house when we put like the dots on the top. Then it really like, we're gonna do red, well I'm gonna do red on the top to make it look like a traditional house. I mean you can do whichever color that you want. I have all the different glaze colors this year. Some years I only have some of the colors, but I have pretty much every single color this year. So you'll be able to do your mushroom house, whatever color you want it to be. Just kind of making it nice and smooth.